Hey guys, it's Amar Anya back with another video. Well, today is going to be a special day because I'm going to be teaming up with Aeon Shipping, and today we are going to be exporting 14 luxury cars to India, Egypt, US, etc. Like to a lot of countries. As you guys can see, they have a Hummer H2 behind me, and we are going to be exporting this Hummer H2 to Egypt. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys like how to export cars. So a huge shout out to Aeon Shipping, and today with them. We we'll learn how to export cars. <laughs> At first, let me introduce you to all the cars we are shipping today. We have a Chevrolet Corvette over here. I don't know to which country we are exporting this. <laughs> That's definitely a loud Corvette. We also have this G Class. As you guys can see, this is actually Mercedes G Class. They have a Dodge Challenger. Another Mercedes over here. This is also a crazy car. <laughs> It's definitely loud. We also have a Mini Cooper. We have a Mini Cooper. We have a Ford Raptor. We have a Ford Mustang 50 anniversary one. We have a Porsche Turbo. As you guys can see, they are washing it. Apparently, before exporting it, you have to wash the car. We also have this BMW 750 Li and this Land Cruiser Prado right here. We are going to export this to. India. Guys, this is also another Corvette which we are exporting today. Wow, yeah. so you guys are basically exporting cars to all the countries, all countries. Every part of the world, yeah. Hummer is going to Egypt. Hummer is going to Egypt. Uh -huh. Then here comes Ford Mustang. This is going to Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. Then we have uh, G Wagon, Mercedes G63. This is going to UK as well. Then Ford Challenger. A uh, Dodge Challenger. Dodge Challenger, sorry. This uh -huh. is going to. This is going to India. India? This is going to India? India yeah. Damn. And then we have uh, Corvette for UK and Ports for UK as well. So basically Aeon shipping export cars to like literally everywhere in the world. Damn. We just completely ignored this Mini Cooper. Bro, where is this Mini Cooper going to? This is going to Rotterdam. Rotterdam. Yeah. And why is the number plate blue in color? As you can see, this is an export number plate. It's uh, totally different from uh, basic uh, basic number plate, which is white in color. Before processing for export, it's like uh, customer's choice whether they want the car with the blue plates or they want to export it without plates. Uh -huh. So if you take a blue plate, you can drive the vehicle in UAE GCC for like uh, six to seven days. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you don't want to drive or something, if like you are planning to export it directly, you can uh, skip the plate thing and export it with just with the export certificate. Export certificate. Nah. So guys, anyway, these are all the cars which we are exporting today. So I know what you guys are thinking, like what is the price of exporting these cars? And what is the procedure? Like how to approach Aeon Shipping for exporting? So for that, I'm going to meet their general manager and he's going to explain us the entire process of exporting a car. So guys, this is Jeeva, the business development manager and today he is going to explain us the different ways of exporting I mean the procedure of exporting a car to India, US, Germany, literally anywhere so Jiva, <laughs> nice to meet you <laughs> so the main question is what will be the cost of exporting a car from Dubai to another country for example India yes yeah. so uh, it depends on the mode again air freight, roll on roll off and container container I think so container which is cheaper um, if it's a smaller car, mm. roll on roll off is cheaper. What is roll on roll off? Roll on roll off is nothing. You don't need a container or you don't need an aircraft. Mm -hmm. It's a ship where you just park the car. It's like wow. parking space. Uh -huh. So if it's a smaller car, based on the space it's going to accommodate, we are going to uh, charge customers. So mm -hmm. that's good for a smaller car. Mm -hmm. And again, it depends on destination as well. Some destination clearance for roll on roll off is cheaper because you don't have to handle a container mm -hmm. so that's the whole uh, idea behind the roll and roll option yes all right and uh, when it comes to container it's more safe mm -hmm. also it is more dedicated it's like you put the item inside you lock it mm -hmm. and there will be a seal and this seal cannot be opened until and unless a clearance is done at yeah. the destination so it depends and air freight of course uh, uh, we all know like it's it's yeah. faster it's fast and expensive. And a little bit expensive when you compare. Yeah. Yes. And the prices, um, a container you can start from even 4,000, 5,000 dirhams. You can start depending upon the location. It goes up to uh -huh. the number of days or uh, what kind of destination it's going to be. Mm -hmm. 
like uh, the okay so like the price for exporting uh, varies in different cars varies yes, it, it like is. for example if i want to export a hummer yes. it will be way expensive than exporting a ferrari i wouldn't say so because if it's a container we don't charge based on the car we charge based on the container based on the container like yes. a container size yes if it's a hummer it's one then it's pretty hard to ex- export right uh let's assume hum- hummer and ferrari if it can fit into the container because few hummers cannot fit into a yeah h1 h1 cannot fit in yeah h2 can fit in so h2 and ferrari is going to take the same container rate is going to remain the same if mm-hmm. the destination is going to remain the same but roll on roll off air freight it will change it because will change. It, it is based on the size of the car can you give me a rough figure of exporting a car uh let's can we say uk okay let's say 1700 dollars you can start shipping start shipping a car for 1700 dollars yeah. okay that that's kind of affordable like if you want to export your car to home country for like 2 to 3 weeks like it depends like for you guys do 6 month permanent like that all right so what it is when you move from one country to another mm-hmm. you will be able to uh, take the car duty free most of the countries do give this option mm-hmm. so you don't have to go to a different country buy a car spend more you can take your car only mm-hmm. shipping cost you're going to pay mm-hmm. and you, you you will be getting a duty free entry as well so mm-hmm. small modification might be required based on the destination country okay cool by the way guys this is the warehouse of aeon shipping like you guys export a lot of things as well right yes like we what export pretty much uh, everything uh, cars bikes boats Boats. Project cargoes, household items. Household items. Yes, personal effects and uh, air freight, sea freight, both modes. Wow, that's nice. And by the way, I just noticed is that they are also exporting like luggage. Yes, so uh, we can. Um, some of the customers uh, they have the luggage ready. They uh-huh. do not want to put it into a box, or they just want it as it is, uh-huh. so that when it gets to their place, uh-huh. it can be kept as it is. We don't have to. like on drive it and yeah all right <laughs> by the way guys this is the 50 years anniversary edition ford mustang i'm pretty sure most of you know that hummer is my dream car look at the car and look at the car key guys just take a look at this beauty right here. this is actually a mercedes c63 which model is this which year uh, 2014 2014 guys this is actually a 2014 c63 Beautiful car. Nice. As you guys can see they're scanning this. By the way, what are these products? These are all the household items are there of the okay. customer. They are trying to ship it from Dubai to Rotterdam, UK, UK other uh. countries. And why did they scan it? uh scanning process we are keeping the scanning process it will be easy for us also and uh, at the destination the agents are there so it will be easily identify the which particular box is there of the customer all right oh my god guys so right now we are about to start the lorry process at first we will be taking this bus by the way that's how a container works look at this view by the way they have a lot of cars <laughs> at first we will be putting this bmw then this hummer and this mustang on those three containers all right guys so the first car which we are exporting is this bad boy right here this hummer h2 this is going to egypt right this is going to egypt right wow oh my god what is that thing wait how are you going to get out ah oh, sunroof all right that's what i was wondering <laughs> by the way i have never seen a car getting shipped like this is Like this is my first time experience. If you could say, you can. Oh, I'm not sure whether you guys can see that. I'm pretty sure you guys can clearly see this. They just placed two wooden hard boards so that the car won't move forward or backward. Let's take a look at it. Right now, I will hammer that. Whether this is a hammer. So guys right now both of these cars are about to go inside the container probably this will be the last time both of them will be meeting together cuz 3 hours later by the way guys this is going to egypt whereas this bmw is going to ghana along with some tires and this mustang is going to you turkey turkey with a lot of household objects 
by the way they are hammering down so that the car won't move forward and they also discharge the battery why did we discharge the battery of this car uh, the battery is required to be uh, discharged because uh, there are two things. Not uh -huh. only the battery, uh -huh. we make sure the customer is aware about the fuel quantity as well. Uh -huh. uh, we give them a clear cut instruction the fuel should be in reserved quantity. All right. Because uh, based on the previous experiences which we have for the past 11 years, mm -hmm. there are many incidents, not for us, but mm -hmm. globally, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, car is considered as a part of the okay. So the fuel should be in reserved. The battery should be disconnected. Okay, it may be flammable. The car might be flammable. It's okay. a flammable situation. And uh, when we are in a market of like Gulf market and all, uh -huh. the temperature goes where up to 40 to 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. So, which shouldn't endanger the car as well as the remaining container. Ah, yes. So, we make sure the battery is discharged and the fuel is in reserve. Damn. So, guys, I know what you guys are thinking like how to approach EUN shipping in order to ship a car. So, the way how it works is by their application, right? Or yes. the website? Uh, we do have this app or website. It's huh? a website based app. So you can use in browser or your mobile phone. It is aeon-shipping.app. App. Okay. So that's the uh, link. Once you enter, you get to this page. Okay. You get your free quotation. Okay. So once you are here, all you need to do is just click this green button it will take you to a page where you can choose the commodity you that you want to yeah, ship. Okay. Sometimes if you want to even store something and ship it later, you can choose that option as well. All right, cool. And once you select, again, click next, it will take you to... Moving from which country? Yes. So even you can bring it from somewhere else to UAE as well. All right. So cool. in this case, let's, let's assume we are moving from Dubai to London. Okay, cool. All right. So you choose that, you choose the They're moving good. date, estimated okay. moving date is fine. And then we enter the details, okay. name, email address, mobile number. And uh, if you have any uh, coupon, you mm. can even enter the coupon right. number as well. Then you press next. And over here, as you can see, car shipping, make and model of the car. Mm -hmm. year specification value of the car mm -hmm. and what would be the stack like value of that car which you're shipping yes correct all right so once these details you have provided the, these details you can mm -hmm. see that as a person is allocated a relocation specialist is allocated for your query immediately all right and he will be working on the quotation. You can see that this person is working on the quotation, what time it has been done. Mm -hmm. And then you can see your request mm -hmm. and your quotation will okay. be received this way. Port, uh, the port of loading will be Jablali. Yes. So uh -huh. you can see port of uh, place of collection, port of loading, mm -hmm. which place we are going to discharge, what is the volume that we are looking at. You can see one car in a 20 feet container. All right. Transit time, what are all the services in, in included in this? All right. What's excluded? Everything. And okay. you can see what is the charges. And the best part is you can download the, the PDF. PDF. Wow, yes. that's nice. PDF file, you can save it for your reference. Uh -huh. It's in your mobile. You can keep it in your computer. You can send it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. It's nice. very handy. Nice. And you can accept or decline the quotation there as well. All right. We do have an option of adding. Like how long will it take to make the quotation? It starts from anywhere between five minutes to two hours is maximum. All we, right. we, our aim is to provide a quotation within two hours. All because right. Some queries require some time to work on it, like mm -hmm. depending upon the commodity. Mm -hmm. But uh, we can start from anywhere from five minutes to because to get this quotation, mm -hmm. the entire process is more or less two minutes. If All right. The real time. All right. Leaving out the time it takes to calculate. All right. So it's 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 a, it's a very easy process. Okay. So guys, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed. A huge shout out to Aeon Shipping. So if you guys are planning to ship your car from Dubai to any other country, just go to their website or visit their shop here in Dubai Russell Co. So yeah, I hope. It's Oh, 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 oh,